come in great. <gasps> I don't know how this is legal. T18. <laughs> that was gross. My back hurts like a cat. My position can't stop you. Hey besties, it's Becca. In today's video, we are toning our hair freshly bleached blonde Malibu babe. <laughs> the reason why I say Malibu is because I have a bunch of limited edition Malibu Barbie hair straightener, Malibu Barbie hair curler. Both of these hot tools are by Chi. I am super excited to try them out on my channel. Stay tuned for those videos because it's going to be like, oh, I just can't wait. So today we are toning our hair um, because our hair is really, really blonde. And I'm actually really happy with the color of it. I bleached it yesterday. And um, a couple days before that, I did an aphigy treatment on my hair. This is like no hot tools. This is my hair naturally. I have like wavy curly hair. I don't know what to call this. Like it's just like wavy or is it like curly? It's like wavy curly, right? Cause it's not like, I don't have ringlets but like I have waves that are like pretty curly. I don't know. It is 10N slash 1001 and it's called Satin Blonde. So we are gonna be trying Satin Blonde on our hair today. I wanna tone it down a bit, so I'm looking for more of like a beige blonde and this is exactly a beige blonde, but I'm not too sure if it's going to not work because I have like really freshly bleached blonde hair. So it's a permanent liquid hair color as well. It is not a toner, it's a permanent hair color. And I didn't know that when I bought it until I got home and was like, oh. My favorite go-to toner, if you're wondering, is T18, of course. Everyone's gonna be like, oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. Of course she's gonna say that. But I literally love T18, um, but I just kind of want to tone it down a little bit because, you know, fall is around the corner and I just feel like I'm wanting like the perfect beige blonde, but like T18, but has beige in it. Do you guys get what I'm feeling? <laughs> you need 20 developer and you're going to mix one part Willow Color Charm with two parts Willow Color Charm developer. So that is what we're going to do, which is exactly like mixing with toner. You're going to um, add the exact amount with how you would add with a toner. So two bottles of this filled up with developer. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? My hair falls out. <laughs> Maybe one day it's going to. I mean, I already have my hair falling out because of postpartum. Um, so I mean, if... It is what it is. Oh my God, this stuff is so strong. This is <coughs> Well, do not talk when you're pouring, Willa. <coughs> I never used this hair color before. I always like experimenting with different blondes because I feel like it helps me keep like almost like a collage of hair dyes and hair colors that I've had and like I can go back and like it helps others and my eyes are burning really bad. Like really bad. 20 developer and we're just gonna pour this like two times. Oops. Okay, one. need a gas mask for this, by the way. So if you have one, it would come in great. <gasps> and we're 
we're just going to mix this sucker up and apply it all throughout our hair. And I just want to say to a big disclaimer to my biggest, biggest supporters and their the Karens. Um, no, I do not measure and I'm not a professional. So do not say in my comments that I'm a professional. <laughs> and um, yes, my hair is damaged. And um, what else do I have to say? Um, I have wavy curly hair and um, no, my curls are not damaged because of bleaching. I have wavy hair always and I have dry hair and um, did I cover all my bases? You let me know down below besties if I'm missing something. <laughs> so we're just going to mix this up and we are just mixing this up and getting your hair done because we never have time for ourselves when we are a mother. Do you guys agree if you are mothers? Yes, we never have time just to even shower or even go like number two. We literally don't have time to eat or nothing, okay? When we got a newborn and a toddler that's going through the terrible twos, we are constantly, our eyes are peeled back like someone is like, torturing us. I feel so bad that like I have all these extensions here and they're just sitting here and these are Bellamy extensions that I paid like a lot of money. Okay. Like 600 and something dollars. Okay. These are 24 inches, the best hair extensions I have ever, ever had. And the reason why I haven't been wearing them is for one, I feel like my eyes are playing tricks on me, but I feel like they have like a green tinge to them. So I keep forgetting to buy another T18 to do my extensions. Cause the purple shampoo method did not work to tone them. And I feel like I have to do a bleach bath on them. Let me know down below if you guys want to see me do a bleach bath on my extensions. Okay, so we're just gonna like put this all over our head, I guess. Like, right? Just like, you know, I'm gonna do the good old fashioned Becca style of applying hair dye. If you guys want it, I do. Cause I just have no time and I have to go out after this to Dollarama before my husband comes home and grandma leaves, I have to get a bunch of stuff done. And this is just the fastest method. Like who has time? Who has time using a brush to go individually strands? Like, of course it's messy, it gets everywhere, but you know, you cover your bases really good when you do it this way. And I feel like you get like a really good even coat. Yeah, just a uh, gas mask is required as well. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know how this is legal to have this kind of potency. I don't have enough either, so. <laughs> my eyebrows, we gotta do my eyebrows. Or I'll do my eyebrows with T18. Actually, I have to re-bleach my eyebrows because I missed a couple spots. So we'll do that in this video as well and then tone them with T18. Make sure you really get in there. And I suggest two bottles because it just didn't do it for me. Guys, I have to say, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm literally loving it. Guys, okay, you guys know when I'm serious and I have to say, I'm literally loving this color. Do you guys see it developing? Oh my gosh, did I just find a color of my dreams. Did I find the color, the perfect beige blonde? Please. We're gonna leave this in for 30 minutes because that's what the box recommends. This is called the fast mom method, okay? But yet, I mean, we are on a time crunch and we do have to bleach our eyebrows. I just, ugh, bleaching is just so annoying. And if I had my own company, I would make a bleach called the Die Hard Barbie Bleach That Doesn't Stink. 
Stop right now and you need to listen, okay? This is serious talk. If you are bleaching your hair, okay, and you use a clip like this, okay, that has like the metal piece in there, that will completely fry your hair. So if you go like this into your hair and you have bleach in your hair, the heat from the bleach will actually counteract with the metal and it will go like really hot and it'll burn a piece of your hair off. It didn't happen to me, but I know someone that that happened to. So I just, you know, Bestie got your back. Don't use a clip when you're bleaching your hair, please. Just use like a freaking elastic band that has no metal piece. Just don't even risk it. I seen it and it was horrible. It took off like a patch of this much hair off her head. Just please don't, okay? Also, I don't recommend this. Do not do this at all, okay? It's very dangerous. And I just love doing it because I like the no eyebrows effect, okay? And um, yeah, I wear glasses if you're wondering. <laughs> let me tell you my eyes I don't know if it's age but my eyes are just they're failing me okay they are getting worse I feel I'm 27 I'm turning 28 next month guys on the 8th of September super exciting well I'm super depressed because I'm turning 28 and um yeah like I mean, I I know I'm not old and I don't want you guys to think that you're old because you're maybe older than me. I just, I feel like, not that I'm like sad that like I'm turning 20. Okay, well, yeah, I am sad that I'm turning 28. But like, I am, I am just like sad that like the years have gone by so fast. And um, my children are growing so fast. It's sad growing old. And eventually we all... Die. <laughs> but um, I don't... I don't know. It's, it's sad. You guys get what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, I'm happy to be like turning 28. Like, yay to like 28 years that I've been alive. But like I'm sad at the same time because, you know, I'm going into my 30s soon. And they say that your 30s are, 30s and 40s are your best time of your life. So I'm looking forward to that. Someone asked me how long do I leave my bleaching on my eyebrows for? And I leave it on for like 10 minutes. And this is my first time using like 20 developer on my eyebrows. Usually when I'm bleaching my hair, I use, um, I use 30 developer, whatever's in my hair. So yeah, I'm hoping that this is gonna be a good beige in my hair. Let's see what it looks like so far. Yeah, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. But my roots, they're a bit yellow. Okay, I mean, it's too early still. We got like 20 minutes more to go. We're just gonna kick back and relax and you know, wait for our eyebrows to melt off. I might not tone my eyebrows depending on if the bleach makes my eyebrows white because that's what I'm aiming for is for white eyebrows. Um, I just like the look of like, just a face and a nose, you know? <laughs> Like, it's better to take these eyebrows off in the bathroom and, like, have soap. But, like, I'm going to be washing this off anyway soon, so... I am done with my eyebrows. They don't exist. And they're a bit yellow now because I have really dark foundation on. Ignore it. Don't even look at them, okay? But from here, where are my eyebrows? They're gone, right? That's what I like. I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like it did nothing. I feel like I just freshly bleached my hair. And this is like the aftermath of bleaching. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like it didn't really deposit that much color into my hair. This is the color. I didn't do nothing to my hair. I literally went to bed and I let my hair air dry. So 
if you want to see the true color, this would be the true color of using that. And I'm glad I didn't mix it with T18 because, you know, we want to see the full potential of the color, right? Instead of mixing it. Some people don't like T18 and they like just buying one solid color. So this is the color. This is what my roots look like. I feel like I would have benefit more if I like bought two boxes. Maybe that's why, I have no idea, but it is what it is, okay? It is what it is. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going through a phase or like postpartum like freak outness, but like I'm not gonna be dyeing my hair blue, I decided, but I really want to get this side pierced. So I'm like trying to feel it out to see like how it looks on me, like does it look good? This is like the new trending thing, like having two nose piercings, right? So I ordered a kit off of Amazon to pierce my own nose. So comment down below if you want to see me pierce my own nose on YouTube. And um, yeah, I bought like a whole kit. I'm that type of girl that will literally do my own piercings. Like I have pierced my own tongue two times. I have done my nose once. I've had my nose done two times. And I've had a Monroe piercing. I've had my belly button pierced. I've actually had my Monroe pierced two times and I have like a scar there. But that's all I've done. But now I want to do the other side and I want to have a hoop just like this. Like this is exactly how I want it to look with a hoop and then a stud. Like this one's real, but this one's not pierced yet. So you guys tell me down below if I should do it and if I should film it, okay? Because I'm really digging the look. Does it suit me? Be honest, bestie. I need to know. Does it, does it look good? Like, you know? I'll, I'll stand here for like um, a couple seconds so you guys can like tell me the truth. <laughs> Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a poll on my YouTube and take a picture of it and you guys will vote yes or no and if I should film it. Either way, I have a kit coming from Amazon and um, it's either I do my cartilage because I kind of digging like the cartilage like I don't know I have my hair up all the time like I think it would look cute like back in high school I had like two cartilages and me and my best friend at the time we did them together in like her basement with like a regular needle like just the ratchet style so you guys let me know and um yeah this color it is what it is I might just end up putting T18 on top because you guys know I don't like yellow hair and I feel like it's yellow and I hate yellow hair. I have the Malibu hair straightener and Malibu hair curler that looks like some kind of device for down there. <laughs> um, but it's like electronic and it spins on itself and I'm super interested in learning how it works. It's gonna be interesting, okay? And it's a limited edition by Chi. Um, they were way overpriced. They were $100 each and we are a basic mom on here and I hate spending that much money on myself. But if I don't like the hair curler, I'm probably going to exchange it. I feel like I'm not going to like it, but who knows. The hair straightener I'm keeping because I have to have a hair straightener. Mine broke. The ceramic thing broke. I have so many hot tools, but I just recently moved like a couple months ago back in March and I cannot find the decor that I had um, in my background, like my background setup, and also all my hot tools. It's weird, huh? Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, Bestie. Please subscribe and turn your post notifications on because you will be the first to see when I post and comment and like only if you want to. I usually tend to respond to you guys because I have no friends because mom of two. <laughs> like, why do I do this? Like, Becca, you're 28. Anyways, I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye guys.